Yo guys, what is going on? Real Sykes here on another phenomenal day guys, and how are you freaking doing? Today guys, I'm showing an insanely awesome glitch where you guys can spawn props in a GTA online session, troll your friends, even some random people in the game. This is done after patch 1.11, this is insanely easy and simple to do, and this is after patch 1.11. So in the meantime, boys and girls, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alrighty everybody, welcome back. Now guys, what you want to do is head into a GTA Online session, go to the internet tab via your phone, go with your money and services, click mazebank.com, click main menu, withdraw, and withdraw all of your money out of your bank account. If there's a few thousand left over, you should be fine to go. Now once you've done that, head back over to the home tab, click Dynasty 8 Real Estate. What you want to do then is click find properties, and then click one of the properties that is displayed on the left scroll menu. Now guys, what you want to do next is simply hover over purchase property. And now guys, what you're going to do is once you've hovered over this, you want to hold down the start button for a few seconds. As soon as you hold down the start button, release it, and then click A. So hold down the start button, release it, and hurry up and click A. If done properly, you'll notice the start menu pops up. Click B. You'll say alert, you have insufficient funds. Hold down start. As soon as you've released start, click A. If done correctly, you'll notice the start menu pops up while the Xbox Game Store is loading. You simply want to press RB and go over to the online tab and click Creator Beta. If done correctly, you'll notice your phone pops up and then you'll have the menu in the top left saying Creator. Give it a few seconds, you'll notice the Xbox Game Store loads up. Simply all you want to do then is click B to cancel out of it. Then what you want to do next is simply create a deathmatch and click deathmatch. Now guys, let's go over the recap to show you that one more time. So what you want to do is go into a GTA Online session, withdraw all of your funds out of your bank accounts, head over to Dynasty 8 Real Estate via the Home tab. What you want to do then is click Find Properties, find a house of your choosing. I recommend buying the top house. What you want to do then is simply hover over Purchase Property. Now while you're hovering over Purchase Property, you want to hold on Start. As soon as you release Start, quickly tap A or X depending on what console you're on. If done correctly, you'll notice the Start menu pops up. Simply click B out of this. You're saying alert, you have insufficient funds. Hold down Start, release Start, click A. If done properly, the game store will load. The Start menu will pop up. Quickly click Online and go to the Creator Beta. It's as simple as that, boys and girls. Now, guys, like I said earlier, if done correctly, you'll notice Dynasty 8 pops up, creator in the top left, and then the game store loads up. All you want to do then is quickly press B out of that. Then you guys can click Deathmatch, or create a Deathmatch rather than click Deathmatch, and you're good to go. Now, guys, here's the few little steps you guys have to do. Now, guys, sometimes when you spawn in the creator beta, you can't move and you're stuck. So what you want to do is while you're editing everything, you want to click back on the controller, and what this is going to do is click Switch Camera. You guys can see it in the bottom right. If done correctly, you'll notice you spawn in your NPC. Now, guys, what you want to do, as soon as you spawn, walk around, and then quickly go back into Skycam. Now, you guys can go fly around the map and have some mayhem. Now, guys, this is the crazy part. If you just simply place a prop down, nobody can see it. There's a certain method you have to do. So, let's look for somebody to troll for a little bit. Let's see. Look around. Now, guys, while you're in a GTA Online session, you'll notice that other people do not see you however you see them. So here's a tank. What we're going to do is place a barrier down. Now guys, notice what we're doing. We're placing the barriers down. As soon as we place the barrier down, we pick it back up and then drop it. So you're going to click A on the prop to spawn it. And then you're going to quickly press A on it again. And then press B to cancel it. Now like I said guys, if you place a prop down just regularly and do not pick it up and drop it again, they can drive straight through it. So what you want to do again is simply place a prop down, click A, pick it up, and then drop it. As simple as that, boys and girls. If you found this helpful in any way, shape, or form, or if you have any issues or concerns, please feel free to comment in the comment section down below. This is your host, Real Sykes. I will talk to you guys later. Peace. I said, let's go.